Welcome back everyone. It is fall and you still have that taste for that summer peach pie. Well, I'm going to show you how to make it today. We're going to be using uh, frozen peaches and I may add one can of the uh, canned peaches. So if you never made a peach pie before, make it with me and I'll show y'all how to make the crust. So let's get started. I would like to say a quick prayer before we begin. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for teaching us. Thank you for letting us know about deliverance. Lord Jesus, I am. I praise and honor you today. You alone are God. You alone are worthy to be called upon and praised. You hear the desire of the afflicted and you encourage them. Thank you for encouraging us today, Lord. I live, we live to seek your face and your will throughout this day. In Jesus Christ's name, amen, amen. We're gonna use frozen peaches and I have already made the pie crust. It is chilling in the refrigerator. So we will get started making our peach pie. All right, you guys, these are the ingredients that we're going to be using. We're going to use a bag of the sliced pieces. This is two pounds. And we're going to use also two cans of the uh, peaches in a can. We're going to use a half a cup of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half of a lemon juice. We're going to use a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're going to use eight tablespoons of butter. And what we're going to do is we're going to melt our butter over here and make a roux with the flour. So let's get started. All right, guys, I am giving my peaches a quick, quick rinse under the water to get some of the preserves off that they use when they pack the bag. The two cans that you have, we're going to be saving the liquid from the cans because we're going to be using the liquids. You guys, this is going to be a wonderful peach cobbler. You see it just pour it off and I'm just um, using the liquid. We're going to save the liquid because we're going to add it into our recipe. Thank you. 
We have added all of our spices and seasoning for this roux and sugars and salts. You guys, it is now time to incorporate the peaches. But when you use the peaches, cut the fire off. Uh, just coat the peaches. You don't want to cook the peaches because we're going to do that in the pie. You don't want it mushy. You guys, this is an excellent pie. Just keep stirring the roux around and just uh, mix the peaches in and just coat them. And let it soak up all that goodness. And then we're going to pour it into our pie shell. You guys, I'm going to roll out this dough that we made. Check that video out if you need to know how to make the perfect and the most flaky and delicious dough. But you guys, it is cool mornings and evenings. It is the autumn season. I am so happy. It is October and there is just in my household tantalizing aromas everywhere. You know, even when I go out, I smell the air that's filled with everybody cooking different types of food, you know, but one of the aromas in my house is chicken pot pie, pecan pie, and peach pie. You guys, I have been cooking a lot this October. Our traditional favorite in our household is a uh, potato pie, which is a sweet potato pie. Uh, I haven't had corn pudding in a long time, but y'all, it's the time for peach cobbler. And you know, Southern recipes, they do a lot of uh, cobblers around this time. You know, whether it be deep dish peach pies or cobblers, however you want to call it. But y'all, this is the perfect time to make a peach cobbler. And it is very well appreciated over other pies that you will make. So try this recipe and I hope y'all like it. All right, we have the bottom portion done. Now, you guys, we're going to make the top portion. You can do this any way you like. You can roll it out flat, put some slits in the top, or you can make some little lattice strips like I'm doing. You know, uh, I'm practicing on making lattice strips. But you know what? The thing about it is do what you can. Make your pie look presentable, but the taste will blow them away you guys check out that crust video you have got to try this crust it is so good it is so flaky flaky i got this crust recipe for one of my aunties back home y'all they can cook they can really 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 cook so you guys try this recipe you know uh this peach cobbler and you will never want to make another type of peach cobbler because this one is so, so good. So, yep, I'm doing my best, y'all. I'm just trying to make it decorative. 
But you know, every time I make this peach cobbler, it lasts maybe a day and a half because everybody, they come back for seconds and third pieces of pie. But it is delicious. And the, you know what, one thing that make a good peach cobbler is the crust, the breading part. And when you get the dough, you get the pie crust right and get it flavorful, you guys, then you will have a very, very good pie. Because believe it or not, uh, the pie scores high. Uh, the crust scores high when you're making pies. You want the crust to taste good because you have a lot of bread eaters. But here is our finished pie. We're gonna put it in. It looks so good, it's finished. We're gonna bake this pie at 365 degrees for 45 minutes. If you see your crust coming a little bit dark around the edges, you can use some tinted foil, but it may be all right, y'all, because I'm going to cook this pie totally uncovered. And it is so good, y'all. I can't wait. My house smells so good. This is a wonderful peach pie cobbler. I just got it out the oven and it is bubbling hot. Very, very hot. Y'all look at that. So we're gonna let this cool down and you guys, you can imagine, very, very good and flavorful. This is our peach cobbler pie. Look at that, y'all. It is all so, so good. Y'all, I am going to get some of this wonderful peach cobbler. Look at there. So hot. Wonderful peach pie. Look at all the juice that it made. All the juice. So, so delicious. Look at that crust. A scoop of vanilla ice cream or black walnut ice cream would go very delicious with this pie. You guys, this is a great addition to add for Thanksgiving. If you don't like sweet potato pie, this will be a great addition to add to your meal. Even though it's not summertime, it is good in the fall, y'all. And that's what we're having tonight. And I also made some enchilada chicken in my slow cooker. I'm gonna give y'all a peek of that. And this is what I made, some enchilada chicken. 
We have been eating on it today. And it's went over some Spanish rice. Y'all, it is so, so good. It has uh, black beans in it. And it has the enchilada sauce. And it's just so, so good, y'all. Nice, succulent chicken. I cooked everything with onions and peppers and black beans and chicken. I put an enchilada sauce over it. Y'all, it is so good to eat over rice. So, this is what we're having for our dinner today. You guys, I hope y'all try this peach pie recipe because it is oh so delicious. Thank you everybody for watching and I hope to see y'all in the next one. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with us. And we thank y'all for watching.